we have Quincy Morgan. And Quincy will be presenting about public domain maps. So take it away, Quincy. Thanks. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Quincy Morgan. I'm currently technical lead at OpenStreetMap US. Uh, you might have known my previous work from the ID maintainer. Today, I'm talking about the uh, public domain map project, which is the way to bridge the gap between OpenStreetMap and government data. Um, so as you may know, there's a lot of differences between these two data sets, um, but both uh, have, can have a lot of advantages. Um, OpenStreetMap has the OODBL license, which um, has certain protections. And you, in the US, government data must be in the public domain. So that means government can't use or redistribute OpenStreetMap data directly. Um, uh, OpenStreetMap data, is, of course, is crowdsourced, whereas government data uh, only has a certain amount of editors, uh, approved editors for the most part. OpenStreetMap data is either unvalidated or semi-validated. So um, uh, whereas government data uh, could be considered authoritative, um, it goes through a lot of validations. OpenStreetMap data, of course, has a great ecosystem associated with it. Um, there's all these uh, open source projects, and it's all the different um, projects are interoperable with each other, whereas government data can exist in different databases, different agencies, different data formats. There's not really one great unifier. So in order to, to, to allow uh, um, both of these two uh, entities to benefit from each other, we're introducing public domain map. Um, it's a fork of the OpenStreetMap stack that is in the public domain. Um, it's crowdsourced. It gets validated. Um, and it because it's OpenStreetMap stack, it is interoperable. And that lets the government pull its data into the public domain map. And then um, mapping can happen. And then data goes out of public domain map and can go back to the government. But it can also benefit OpenStreetMap about being imported through um, map roulette or rapid or another sort of import. Uh, and to be clear, public domain map is not a second open street map. The data is not um, persistent. It doesn't live forever. It doesn't um, let you um, uh, the data. <laughs> it, you can't just edit any kind of data. Um, we run it through Tasking Manager. So it's only tasks that certain agencies are interested in getting crowdsourced is the only data that lives in public domain map. Uh, and I'll go straight to a demo so I can see uh, less of the abstract and more of what I'm actually talking about. Um, so here's a branch of the task manager you all know and love. And as you can see in this task manager, there's OpenStreetMap US projects that live right alongside public domain map projects. So if someone's interested in getting involved and helping out, then they could come on and start mapping either kind of task. But if they're mapping the public domain map, then in the future, some of that data could go to OpenStreetMap as well as the government, um, whereas the reverse is not true. So let's go ahead and uh, make a new project. If you've never seen the back end of Task Manager, you get a Nice little preview. Um, so let's go ahead and say I live in a town in a place that doesn't get a lot of mapping action for certain types of features. Um, and the US is a huge country, with lots of rural areas that need mapping. Um, so here's the town. And I'll just draw the boundary around my tasking area. Looks pretty good. Um, and we'll just do some of the options. Cool. And we'll just call this sidewalk mapping. Say that I'm a town manager and I, and I would like to have um, people around the world be able to map in my town. And as you can see here, you can pick the database you want. It, does it live in OpenStreetMap or public domain map? We can create that task. And then we need to just add a few. Um, through fields so we can publish this. Normally, of course, it'd have detailed instructions and everything would have a hashtag. Um, 
Cool. So we'll save that. And now we'll just go and edit it real quick before my time's up. Um, you can contribute data um, right in the ID editor, like you'd expect. But all of the imagery here is in the public domain, and everything that gets saved is in public domain map instead of OpenStreetMap um, for the lifetime of the project. So thanks so much.